This video is another demonstration of Tektronix Plot 10 pictures, this time on my Tektronix 4054A computer, uh, which has a color dynamic graphics display, and the orange that you see as it's drawing is the lines that are just being drawn and then the red, it's a red and green phosphor display. Uh, the red has short persistence and the green uh, is what we're left with. The drawing lines is substantially faster than the 4052. Uh, and so that explains why each of these images, even though it's the exact same data, the images are being drawn quite a bit faster uh, than you saw in my previous video on my 4052. And so this is another G planet. This was the one in my first video, but there's a pause between drawing lines that is different than the first G planet in this video, which had much smaller block size. So I kind of like that one and I'll probably just remove the second one. I do like the way in the case of this CAD image, this is a architectural drawing done in the 70s uh, by the firm shown in California. Don't know if the, uh, the image is a California image. CalComp Preview, notice that the lines are considerably sharper uh, on this 19 inch uh, display than on the 12 inch display. Integrated circuit mass. This is a layer of an integrated circuit and my prior video I estimated probably 256 uh, bits of information because I think each of the ovals uh, is one bit. The bars on the sides I think are the interfaces and this drew considerably faster than it did on my 4052 with the same file. Vortex. U.S. map. I love Snoopy, and this is the Red Baron version of Snoopy. Uh, uh, World War I fighter pilot. <laughs> Very interesting mesh. And then this is one of the demo files on the Chuck Vors Forsberg video. Uh, it's a montage of several different images. It's easy to scale vectors uh, because you just change uh, the endpoint uh, with a simple scale command. The display fonts is a new file that I found uh, for what the display program for the mainframes and the mini computers could do. And I've corrected uh, the little problem I had and it was when I prepared the data to send to the converter program in BASIC, uh, I had an error in the, in the data. And so that's been fixed. And the final demonstration is another display uh, demo file that was on Chuck Forsberg's website, uh, which is now uh, saved on archive.org and so you see 3D map projections on uh, the world globe. You see in the background spline interpolation for curve fitting and in the foreground is a, uh, a 3D plot, a volume plot uh, of a function. Uh, so very very interesting. Hope you enjoyed this video and if you'd like to see more uh, subscribe and you'll get notification when new videos are posted.